So uh, a brief 12-minute uh, uh, overview of the status of the Event Horizon Telescope. Uh, you've seen the picture. Um, with the uh, help of or, or key uh, input of, uh, of ALMA, this uh, was published uh, now almost two years ago. Uh, the uh, image of the shadow of the black hole, the massive black hole, the supermassive black hole, at the center of M87, achieving a resolution of 42 micro arc seconds and uh, making an image that's consistent with 6.5 to, 6 to times 10 to the 9 uh, uh, solar mass black hole, uh, where um, it looks like you're uh, looking uh, top down on a uh, ring around a black hole, but uh, lensing of the uh, emission around the black hole actually would make this picture look uh, the same from many directions. Uh, in M87, we do know that we look very close down uh, the jet. And um, uh, I wanted to add that it's a remarkable conspiracy that at the frequency where we can achieve this resolution, uh, the black hole uh, surroundings are just optically thin enough to uh, make such a image of the of the of the material around it or lens around it it's a very visible project uh, it seems to get prizes now on a weekly basis we got the uh, 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 royal astronomical group award uh, last week it was announced that chef and i know chef Dunneman and heino falker got the uh, henry draper medal uh, Earlier, very significant, we won the Breakthrough Prize in Physics. And of course, the project has a very uh, Dutch, uh, very uh, strong and visible Dutch uh, participation with uh, key roles from uh, people in uh, Nijmegen, Amsterdam, Leiden and Jive, contributing to uh, telescope outfitting, monitoring, uh, armor calibration, the calibration pipeline, uh, simulation tools, well, modeling actually almost everything in the entire uh, chain from proposals to telescope definition to results. And here I want to mention especially uh, how uh, we at Jive got involved in this uh, uh, project uh, through uh, Heino's uh, invitation to join the Black Hole Camp project and in uh, at Jive we contributed to the what we call the classification of field BI processing, making it possible now to uh, do field BI processing entirely in CASA. And uh, that has become one of the standard pipelines uh, that the uh, students in Nijmegen and Amsterdam and everywhere around the world have used to make that image. So the EHT is a, uh, a collaboration of 300 scientists in 19 countries, maybe it's 20 now. Um, uh, run by a consortium of 13 stakeholders, mostly the, the organizations that have telescopes or correlators in the project. It's a very complex uh, structure because this is not just uh, a, a collaboration of telescopes uh, providing a research infrastructure, but it's at the same time also the science team that wants to exploit, model, uh, compare with models and do the whole, uh, the whole enterprise. And so uh, I've been now the director for uh, slightly over half a year, and it's a very interesting uh, exercise in uh, science management. So the message has been that we uh, uh, have confirmed that Einstein was right, or rather that Einstein was not wrong, and we produced this image on four different days, uh, um, uh, showing that it's a complex result. Uh, doing very complex uh, uh, data processing in uh, parallel teams to make sure that we were absolutely sure of ourselves. And I cannot emphasize enough how important ALMA is in this process. Without the sensitivity of ALMA, it's basically impossible uh, to calibrate the data on the time scale of the, uh, of the coherence, which at these frequencies is uh, in the order of, uh, of seconds, maybe 10 seconds. And uh, every 10 seconds, you have to make a detection in order to keep your fringes under control and uh, uh, 
contribute coherently to the image. And very many different innovative processes have been implemented also with uh, mob of, uh, mobile libraries to, uh, to um, uh, process the data uh, that was uh, obtained in this global collaboration. So at that time, this was the 2017 data, it was ALMA and seven other submillimeter telescopes. And you've all seen that paper, or at least the result. You can read about the main result in the six uh, collaboration level papers. Uh, but uh, since then, there have been several other, what we call official papers, people uh, outlining the, uh, the tools, the software, the modeling, uh, and providing with so, uh, you with some new results, for instance, on 3C279 and, and AGM, for which we cannot resolve the uh, black hole shadow, uh, or the uh, result in the bottom, um, where we have compared the previous data with, very, uh, with fewer stations uh, with the uh, new knowledge that it, uh, the emission is ring-like. Uh, ring and we can demonstrate from that that the brightness distribution in that ring uh, changed over uh, the observing years. And there have been uh, tests of GR uh, based on the result as well. So what else can you ex expect from, uh, from the Event Horizon Telescope? Well, I've just said that the 2017 data was used for that image. And from the 2017 data, uh, we are still working uh, well, in fact, we've progressed quite a bit on the M87 polarization uh, results. Uh, so uh, that's something you can look forward to. And uh, later on the slides after this, I will emphasize also on uh, uh, this uh, results. We are working on towards CJ star. I, of course, I cannot show any uh, new images, but at least I can try to explain to you why they are important. The 2019 uh, campaign was cancelled at one millimeter. Uh, I should point that out too. Um, I'm talking for the EHT, the Event Horizon Telescope. That's the collaboration that uh, uses Field BI and ALMA at one millimeter. There's also the uh, GMVA at three millimeter, um, uh, uh, for which there will be a call for proposals soon as well. So 2019 was cancelled for the EHT. Uh, because uh, uh, some key telescopes uh, were not uh, ready to observe. 2020 was, of course, cancelled for Corona. And uh, I will discuss later what the prospects are for 2021. And we're getting more telescopes into the array. On the top right, you see uh, the NOEMA uh, Plateau de Bure uh, interferometer, uh, which has been upgraded and can now uh, be phased up to uh, do build the eye. Uh, there's a telescope uh, in uh, Greenland being operated for the EHD. And uh, one of the, I think it was one of the ALMA prototypes is now at Kitt Peak and will also join the telescope. And we are also developing uh, projects for the longer term and the Dutch are advocating moving the SES telescope to this Gamsberg in Namibia to uh, provide very crucial uh, east-west uh, baselines in the southern hemisphere. And Dutch astronomers are also involved in defining uh, future uh, space uh, millimeter field BI mission. So let's compare uh, SEGE star to M87. Uh, the, uh, the key thing to understand is that uh, SEGE star is a thousand times uh, closer, um, but it's also a thousand times uh, less heavy. So the image sizes we expect for it are, are comparable to M87. It also is uh, supposedly optically thin at that frequency. So uh, we should get an image, except the variability time scale is a, a big issue there. Um, because it's 1,000 times uh, shorter, it varies 1,000 uh, times faster, where the variability time scale for M87 is somewhere uh, expressed in days that is uh, minutes for CJ star. And so it violates another basic assumption of interferometry, namely that uh, while the Earth rotation provides more UV coverage, uh, 
the image remains the same. That's probably not true for SHA star. We do have more uh, baselines to cover it, mostly because the South Hole Telescope cannot see M87. And uh, observing SJ star is in some sense more uh, fundamental. In M87, we know the inclination and the orientation uh, very well. In SJ star, we know the distance uh, and uh, the mass of the black hole much more accurately uh, because of the work at the optical infrared uh, astrometry. Although the, uh, the result here for gravity on the Schwarzschild's precision is, is not exactly the thing they uh, agreed on. They uh, got the Nobel Prize for uh, showing that that uh, black hole exists. So um, no uh, uh, star EHD result, but I can point you to this uh, 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 GMVA result on CJ star uh, by uh, Sarah Isawun from uh, Nijmegen. So this is the best image we have at the moment. And it also demonstrates uh, how we can uh, now uh, deal with the interstellar scattering towards the galactic center. Basically, um, we, we have a model for that. We know how it affects the long baselines and we have ways uh, to correct for that. And that is a very reassuring in the process to get a an, uh, CJ star image. So what are the prospects for 2021? So the, we are rushing, uh, no, we are not rushing. We are very excited because we have uh, uh, more telescopes in our array. Uh, the Greenland telescopes, uh, NOIMA in, uh, in, in France, and Kit Peak should be able to join the array uh, or uh, uh, for, for the first time or uh, for the first time upgraded. And that should give us better our UV coverage and better sensitivity uh, um, in principle. But of course, uh, the COVID-19 situation makes this very difficult. We've, we've heard how difficult it is at Alma, and it is um, certainly not the uh, telescope that is most behind schedule uh, making our uh, uh, planned observations this year. It's a challenge everywhere because normally we fly VLBI experts to all these telescopes and uh, that is certainly not possible. And in addition, some telescopes have been shut off power uh, or uh, shut down their masers. Uh, and in fact, in some countries, there's even uh, funding uh, relocations due to COVID. So we're trying to prepare a number of scenarios, uh, how to deal with that. We run simulations of what science goals can and cannot be obtained in different scenarios. Uh, and we are trying to be as flexible as possible uh, to start observing because after two lost years, we are extremely eager uh, to get back going. And of course, we are preparing our uh, double blind anonymous proposals for 2022. So uh, with this picture from the uh, online collaboration uh, meeting we had in December, uh, I hope I've informed you that uh, you can expect more results, certainly on M87, but the uh, real excitement, astrophysically speaking, uh, is maybe such a star. Uh, EHD has been improving and it's very keen to go for 2021, but of course, safety first. Thank you.